Yeah. Look like a close shot. Last ball of the last over. Carl Mears will continue to his third. got away with that he probably got away with it for height looked a good shot though decent bounce in this pitch it looked a good one this morning not too many cracks Nice smooth surface, looked to have had a little bit of moisture in it. Looked to be a good batting surface and has proven to be so. Can expect it to flatten out a bit more in the second innings when it's, it gets a bit drier. That was really a very optimistic appeal. There's just enough moisture in the surface, so we've seen a bit of sideways movement. When you hit the seam, you can get something out of this pitch. Looks a good one. Don't expect it to turn a whole lot right at the beginning. But there should be a bit of bounce. Well run. Spinners should be able to get a little, little bit of bounce out of this. The previous match here at Coolidge produced a lot of runs. What I like about that particular match, batsmen were able to trust the bounce and play freely through the line of the ball. This pitch which is adjacent to the pitch used in the previous match. Looking very similar, no inconsistent bounce of lateral movement it should get better as time passes that's a good delivery if anything this pitch looks better than the other one which played so well that's the one to the right of your screen it's it's the, it started the game looking better than the other one did at the beginning of the game so being too, so close together one will hope that they both play in the, in the same way no! so far it hasn't been difficult for batsmen to play their strokes but the bowlers have been getting a bit of movement as well five overs gone it's 20 without loss still some clouds around not a clear there by any means this was the previous game we were alluding to Volcanoes batting first 293 for 8 Devon Smith a fine century by him well supported by Sunil Ambrose yet again Hurricanes in the end got to the target Powell another half century it was the star player Rakeem Cornwall unbeaten 74 guiding his team home And that's out. Just got one to just nip away. Got ball to stretch for it. Outside edge taken. And the simplest of catches. That one just came in and straightened, I reckon. Good catch from Ambris. Ball just reaching for it. And it's always good when those stick. It's been bowling a good line, Matthew getting a bit of movement and finally gets a reward the wicket of Adam Ball for three so the Spitfires now are 20 for one the captain will have to lead again with the bat spent a long period of time knocking up and warming up before the start of this game Good solid Liste career. 
170 runs he scored in the six matches so far in regional super 50 2017 It's interesting, Darren, that we we had two right-handed openers, and Liam Sebastian chose to start with Carl Mears instead of Dillon Johnson, left armor. I would have thought that they have given him a couple overs first up with the new ball. He is a new ball bowler. been a good option. I also think Delon Johnson, he's lost that ability to shape the ball into the right-handers. Don't really see him doing that consistently. That's what you expect with a left-arm new ball bowler. That's his biggest weapon. Shape the ball back into the right-handers. Get the odd one to go away. That's a big shout, and he's going to send them this time. Northeast not happy with the decision, but he's got to go. And it was good bowling. He was getting the ball to move away, and this one just kept coming. And uh, seemed to have struck him in front. Not sure if it would have. He didn't get done for height. Looked a bit high to me. Yes. Chris Taylor was in no doubt and up goes the finger. So the second wicket has gone now for the Kent Spitfires. In the sixth over, uh, Sam Northeast goes without scoring. It's 21 for two. Thank you.